One of our objectives originally was to make sure that we had something that could be used uh, to teach about early pioneers in the schools. We had a landing scene over in Lake Erie and it was through sheer luck really that I thought about Tall Ships Incorporated in Toronto that takes students up into Lake Ontario and then across to Lake Huron up into Lake Superior during the summer. So I phoned Tall Ships Incorporated and told them we would like to have one of those ships stop near Port Glasgow to help us with the landing scene. They were most cooperative and it turned out better than we'd ever envisioned at the start. Not only are the schools using it, and we put copies in all of the schools in Lambton and South Middlesex, Kent and part of Elgin, but then also we had other people from as far away as Arizona, Alberta, Michigan, British Columbia, California, getting in touch with us to um, ask if we could get them copies. I'd be very remiss if I didn't mention how I enjoyed working with David. In fact, Dr. Bob Green and I, I think, spent about 19 days with David editing all the footage we accumulated over the summer. But he's very, very cooperative, very, very professional, and he was very articulate in making sure we reflected the hardships of these early pioneers.